Yeah. So I have a fairly rapidly evolving belief that uh, chemotherapy should be used earlier and earlier in the disease. We are seeing t at this meeting, for example, uh, significant evidence that the androgen receptor uh, positive patients are rapidly emerging to resistance to abiraterone or to enzalutamide. It may not be rapid, but it's still within a year or two. And earlier use of chemotherapy may eliminate many of those subclones or prevent the clonal evolution of the disease. Uh, for example, if, if I have a young African-American man, I am going to recommend strongly that he get chemotherapy early in the disease course because those are the patients who do badly with any number of our hormone-based therapies. And we have basically three types of treatment. We have hormones, we have immunotherapy, and we have cytotoxic chemotherapy. We don't have a lot of other options. So if you assume that androgen receptor inhibition is only short term for three to four years, and these guys are in their 50s and 60s, give them the earlier therapy that's the best available.